Alright, welcome back to the Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 Let's Play. So now that I've done Sonic Scenario, let's take on Silver Scenario now. This world was devastated before I was born. A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. Life is a struggle, and people live without hope. How did this happen? No one will answer me directly. But they always point to the flames. They burn away at my world, destroying everything in their path. They come from an eternal life form that we cannot truly defeat. The flames of disaster known as Iblis. Silver! Blaze, what's wrong? He's appeared again! Just by looking at that um, move that Silver did, you can't actually do that in the game. But a lot of people actually presume that that um, we got a move that would replace it. So uh, that's too bad. But we'll do that. We'll get to that later on. So now we are off to Silver's. Uh, so because we had a bit of a taster of what was uh, Silver's um, abilities, um, we have got to know what he does. We are now doing an entire story with Silver in it. Because after that taster we had in Kings of Valley after assisting with Sonic, we are now got Psychokinesis, telekinetic abilities which you can actually uh, manipulate objects and throw at enemies. But of course, stunning enemies at the beginning of that game is really awkward because you have to stand in real point blank range in order to to damage to of course stun the enemy so throw them um, and others. Although I'm going to be at this right now, while the concept is kind of cool, but it just doesn't really. Uh, I just don't think that Silver's um, abilities would just ma maximize the uh, maximum potential to be fair, honest, because unfortunately at times, because unfortunately at times, Silver's abilities allow him to actually. Uh, because uh, every time you try to actually. Uh, Get Silver to another to actually to attack enemies. You will be vulnerable to enemy attacks, like what happened earlier on, when the lizard just uh, blocked, just destroyed, right? Just got rid of my rings. Uh, look at that! How I got just got blindly hit by those stupid fire bats. <sighs> I, can wipe them out if I, that pipe. I think that uh, I don't don't think that pipe could actually hit me hit by that. No, I won't be able to do that. I think I have to do it with the box, though, but... No, it doesn't matter, because we're going to go... Because I need to uh, destroy some enemies in order to get to that faster. Alongside that, Silver is probably the slowest character in the entire game. My god, is My god. My god, this does uh, Silver's... Ground speed absolutely is pretty is is of course quite slow. I know it's a naturally slow character because of his psychokinesis makes up for it, but to be fairly honest, I just think it's not as uh, I think it's just it's, he's not as good as Sonic and Shadow because that his uh, gameplay is a little bit more you know slower pace, and uh, because of the so because of the Sonic series, I'm more you know used to the more faster paced you know part of the series. Honestly, I'm going to be a bit this right now. While we um, telekinesis powers are quite cool, I will admit that they do, that it's only the concept, just the, the potential, just fell too short towards it. And I just think the execution just didn't really uh, get implemented that well in my eyes. Even though I will admit that while Silver isn't a bad character, I will admit he is kind of, you know, overlooked and over un underrated. But in terms of the game time, I just think that his uh, gameplay just doesn't fare as well as Sonic or Shadows. I just feel that, I just feel bummed out that his puzzle based gameplay it doesn't really fit that, the, the, fit, uh, the confines of a Sonic game. No. I heard there was supposed to be a, you know, speed upgrade for Silver, but because of the game being rushed, unfortunately it never happened. 
Oh, what happened there? I was supposed to actually uh, get higher, but then that fire, uh, fire just got hit by the, with these stupid fire bats. Ugh. I just got hit blindedly. Thanks to stupid cap because of how atrocious the camera really is. Well, that was a waste of time, but at least I managed to get enough energy to just, um, to just um, make that pl back to that platform. Okay, so Silver's, uh, and because of Silver's slower speed and, uh, of course, puzzle mechanics, Silver's uh, stages tend to be the longest in the game. But I will admit that throwing uh, projectiles at enemies is quite cool, though. But now come, we come to one of Sil Silver's amigos, and it's Blaze the Cat. And she is Blaze the Cat. Blaze the Cat, in my honest opinion, out of all the char amigo characters... Oh, why does she have to go slow? Blaze the Cat is quite is probably my favourite Mega the K because a she moves as fast as Sonic. She has a, a, a very a very good uh, spin that's actually uh, uh, she uh, the, the the spinning claw. The spinning claw is basically um, Blaze's a version of the homing attack, which has but has more range than Sonic. Very good range. We already defeated them already, Blaze, because of the fact that we've already destroyed them. Also, she has the fire spin, which is pretty good, which al which allows her to get rid of gr just make grounded enemies, and her double jump is incredibly incre is incredible. You look at the fire spin; it's pro it's possibly one of Blaze's best abilities in the game. The, but both the, but that and the fire spin. Unfortunately, in the game, you don't get to play as her a lot. Even that, I do actually think that she's my one of my favorite amigo in the game because of how good she is. She is as she is as uh, you know, she she is as uh, fast and quite acrobat acrobatic as Sonic because of her fantastic fast spin. And now I have to go back to Silver, which I'm, I'm going to be admit this right now. I would have liked it if Blaze was. Playable for more, for more often in this game because. Well, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I didn't. That firework just didn't even hit me. That is just pathetic. Oh, yes, and basically, if you actually uh, destroy enemies nearby, you'll be able to. Um, you'll be able to destroy other enemies nearby, presuming how weak they are. Or, or basically, even damage them. And these, and I'm going to submit this right now. But the fireworms can absolutely get extremely annoying. That yes, that's right. The tornado is none other than the Iblis, the flame of disaster. Yes, this. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Well, by the way, ladies and gents, uh, but Silver's. Silver, Silver story involves him going into is from the he actually lives in the post-apocalyptic future, which is destroyed by Iblis, which is which he is known as the Flames of Disaster. However, we'll find out who is responsible for this. But that was be probably be based off some kind of conje pure conjecture or lie, I believe. All right, let's get it. <gasps> that oh yeah, turn to rock and roll. That pipe will take care of it. And I've got managed to get that invisibility, invincibility, so I could actually uh, get through this without even. Oh, I couldn't catch them all because that that tornado basically works ex did, did exactly the same thing as uh, as it did in Sonic's, um, you know, you know Sonic's Mark Speed segment of this uh, area in his portion of this stage. Let's see if we can get there before eight minutes. Come on. Yes, we've done it. Just about. And because of silver, the amount of... Um, because of the, uh, the, the the huge stages of them and how silver is, silver's abilities are limited like the others in this, this part of the game, silver is probably the hardest character in my eyes to play in the game. But ma I managed to get through Crisis City. So, of course, what's coming up next is a boss fight.
Oh shit! Guess who comes up? It's Iblis! Okay, so welcome to Silver's first boss fight, Iblis. And before anybody asks, yes, I actually I actually lost a life because of what attack because of uh, because of um, basically the basically some sort because basically the uh, basically um, Iblis was being such an absolute an absolute you know sort of bit. Uh, oh god, I did that up. Some so very sorry, I did that on purpose. Um, I just didn't. I actually couldn't figure out what button. I could just. Pre I think press the uh, button where I actually uh, use silver psychokinesis abilities. Ugh. Oh. God damn it! I couldn't. It couldn't lock on. Wait a minute! It respawns anyway. But the fuck! Ow! Oh. Right, let's. No, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Don't let your guard That's pretty over. wise advice, this Blaze. Whoa. No, no. All I had to do was to avoid that. Make sure that I don't uh, get hit by his flame thrower. Basically, what has he got? Oh, no, a building. I will admit that's the uh, more orchestrated, uh, you know, feel of the track actually does pretty well. It's actually pop. I will admit that the orchestrated part of the music is actually pretty good. Oh, I couldn't hit his head. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You would allow me to hit you because you fidgeted! You are such a fidgety monster! Now that I've run out of debris, I can't even do it anymore. No, oh. He's got a somewhat more uh, meteorites. Oh, that! Oh, what horse shit! But at least I managed to get to hit him now. I hate this. I hate these boss patterns in this game. Makes me wonder that this, because of this, because of this game is rushed, the boss patterns are a lot more, you know, you know, a lot more, you know, painful to endure. Makes me wonder if I'm, if I'm, how, it, I would have loved it if I actually play, if I actually also did like teamwork based gameplay like in this uh, game such as I wouldn't mind to see the T formula make her return back from Sonic Heroes okay so now that he's destroyed the building I believe debris can be used to finish him off time to die Iblis your time is up oh god damn it ah! what horse shit Ugh, and I have nothing to attack him now. That's just ridiculous. Basically, there will be more meteorites to come. Right, go, go. Finally, I've done it. That, that took longer than it did. <sighs> Finally, I could relax. And he goes down in flames. Okay, I think I might have gotten a A. Looks like I'm well, on you roll. might be on a roll, Silver, but I don't think I am on a roll because of that. 
Okay, with the pressure of the gold medal, I think I'll end this part. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Silver Story. So, be basically being in the post-apocalyptic future, Silver and Blaze encounter the absolutely angry Iblis, who then destroyed, decides to destroy them both after trying to do that. The duo then defeat the monster, but how would they be able to stop Iblis for good? Well, more answers to find out to be revealed in the next part of Silver Story. Come on, let the fuse, he's a rocket and he's ready to go. Cause now the countdown is started and he's ready to blow. He's got the dope sound.